good day again. Um, it's Jeremy Medeiros and uh, JP Rouge. We're out on Nonsuch Island on uh, an increasingly sunny day now. It's been stormy with gale force winds for about the last two or three days. And this has been a feature of the weather on Bermuda this whole March. We've had five different uh, gales that have blown through the island and often stayed for two or three days. Um, what seems to be happening is all these high winds are make, uh, enabling the adult cahals to make more feeding visits than usual. Uh, rather than the two or three feeding visits that are you know, typical for an average week, um, we're seeing five or six uh, feeding visits or more. And this is being reflected in a lot of the chicks are, are developing very quickly and uh, getting quite heavy earlier than normal. Uh, so I think this has to do with the high winds. They're making quicker trips to and from their feeding um, grounds, uh, which are hundreds of miles from Bermuda. And um, this will continue as long as these high winds continue. Uh, and spring is officially here already, so um, this probably won't last long, but it's been great for the chicks. It's been very difficult for, for me being able to get out to Nonsuch and out to the breeding islands. Uh, but it's been great for the cahal, so overall it's a very good thing. Okay, so um, our cahal cam chick has received, we think, uh, two feeding visits uh, by, uh, you know, one by each parent last night. I'm not sure which came in early last night and which one of them came in very, very um, late this morning. Uh, so late that by the time it finished feeding the chick, uh, daylight was coming and it's just not going to leave in daylight. So it has settled down with the chick and I'm going to take this opportunity to remove the adult as well, uh, give it a quick weight check and see who it is, if it's the mother or father, because then we'll know who the other one was that visited first. And then we will weigh the chick, um, we will um, measure the wing cord, or the, the outer wing length and the bill length as well. And I'm also going to measure the bill length on the adult uh, because one of the things that I am interested in proving is that uh, the, the bill length and size of the male and female cahals differ slightly and this might prove to be an easier, quicker way of identifying if it's the male or female in the nest. Uh, something that will just take a few extra seconds so it won't really disturb the birds. Okay, with all that being said, I'm going to very quickly reach in and grab the adult first and process that and once that's processed I'll get the chick out. Okay, here we go. So here is the adult cahal. Uh, I think, let's see, this is in fact the male bird. Yeah, so the female was the first one that fed it earlier in the night and then the male bird came in very late and um, you know, decided to stay with the chick. So I'm going to put him in a bag. He's quite a calm bird. He's been handled a lot, so he knows that it's, you know, no real problem for him. And the chick, I'm just going to, you know, you can see his beak is getting bigger and bigger now. He's uh, coming up on four weeks since he hatched, so he's almost at the one third fledged stage. It normally takes about 12 to 13 weeks for them to develop and fledge out the seed, just over three months. So, um, you know, he's getting to, to be uh, quite a large little pumpkin now. So I'm just going to measure the adult bird, the male. Yeah, and he's actually a really good weight. So he's not only being able to find enough food for the chick, but he's being able to find enough food uh, to keep himself provisioned as well. And uh, let's see, he is 341, so that's 321 grams. So that's still not a, it's a little light, but it's not a bad way to go. 321 grams. Band number we know is E0197, but we'll just confirm that. And that's the male bird. The female bird is E0212. Yep, E0197. Faithful daddy. And the final thing I'm going to do very quickly is just um, measure his 
bill length and if I can the depth at what we call the gonies it's a slight swelling um, but this is of course birds don't particularly like their, their bill being prodded and pulled so it's a very cooperative bird there okay so that is uh, 29.8 millimeter. So. Okay, and the only other thing I want to do very quickly. Okay, I know, I know. Ouch, ow! And now it's getting a little aggressive, and I don't blame him one bit. And that's just to get the depth of the bill at the gurneys, and that's it. That's the thing. You don't want them to be too placid, because that's what got him into trouble with humans in the first place, the early settlers. Uh, damn gem, and he gave me a little nip to remember him by, which is great. Okay, so that is... Uh, let's see... 13.0 yeah so that is quite thick and that helps to that helps to uh, prove that sort of thing so I'm just going to tuck them in here where you can't get out of the bag too much and now it's the turn of the chick oh boy and he is super fat as you would expect haven't been fed by both mommy and daddy last night he's growing rapidly is not the tiny little dust bunny that uh, he was just a week or two ago. Um, he's growing very fast. Um, he was, I believe, um, 232 grams at the last check. So it'll be interesting to see what he is now. Because he then was not fed for three days. So he probably would have gone back down to about 200 grams. Um, so we'll see what he gained last night with his double feeding. Wow. <laughs> okay, uh, he is now officially over 300 grams. <laughs> so he's gained uh, about 100 grams from that double feed. It's 334. 334. Let's see. That's 21. 313 grams. Incredible. So yeah, so his his gain close to close to or over 100 grams uh, just uh, in the last four days. So I'm very very happy with that. So I'm going to measure his wing cord. Very small little wing, but rapidly growing. It was 40 millimeters um, as of the 23rd, five days ago. It is now 49. So it's grown. Nine millimeters. 40. Nine millimeters in five days. And last but not least is his bill length. Now they can actually, they won't draw the blood of the parents, but not yet, uh, although they can when they're fully grown. But um, they do not like their bill being touched, so it's very. There we go. Sorry, mate. Okay, so that is 22.8. 22 22.8 22 millimeters. Great. Okay, so yes, yeah, so our little our little chicky has uh, is continuing to grow. Then uh, he's the first non such one um, to exceed 300 grams in weight. Uh, so uh, it's probably some of the other ones that uh, we're going to weigh and measure in a moment uh, have, have gotten even heavier, but uh, it's the first one that I've officially logged is over 300 grams. So basically he is now as heavy as his father and he is uh, about three and a half weeks old. So uh, it's great. I mean, this, this year has definitely proven to be a record-breaking season. We have, uh, as of now, close to 70 chicks that have been confirmed. Um, we won't know for sure for a few weeks yet, uh, but 
Um, we're 13 chicks on none such, which beats the old record of 10 uh, from two years ago. So, um, you know, we're very happy with how the season is going. Um, another record-breaking season for one of the rarest seabirds on Earth, uh, Bermuda's national bird, and uh, really doing very, very well, as well as we could ever um, hope for them to do right now. So, uh, from JP Ruja and uh, myself, uh, Nonsuch Island, happy Easter to everybody. Um, well, you can take your Easter bunnies and everything else, but I think these are the cutest little Easter bunnies that you'll ever see. And uh, of course, we even have these rare cabbits that show up every once in a blue moon. So, uh, you know, these guys are just as bouncy as any Easter bunny in existence. So, uh, happy Easter to everybody uh, from Nonsuch Island, Bermuda. And uh, everybody have a great afternoon. Oh, he is, he's like a water balloon. <laughs> he really is. He's so fat. It's great to see them fat, happy, and contented. All he wants to do really is to just sleep. And he's got his daddy with him to uh, keep him company and keep him warm. So.